Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today I am going to be doing my empties for the quarter. And I'm actually maybe a week or two late or behind on my empties. And to be honest, I don't really have that many. So, should we go through them all? First of all, I'm counting this as an empty. Even though it's not quite fully empty. But this is my Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O. I've got a couple uses left. If you couldn't guess, I have a backup ready to go. So as soon as I can, I'm going to pour this bottle into the pump top on this one. And I'll be good to go. So empty and repurchased, of course. Second of all, this Pixie Glow Tonic. This is a 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. And I was looking for an alternative for those Dr. was it Dr. Brandt um, exfoliating peeling pads, which I absolutely loved, but they cost like $150 for like 60 days or whatever. So I bought this in bulk from Shoppers Drug Mart. I bought like a giant bottle, but they um, but they ended up I guess running out of that size, so they sent me two, or I purchased two of this smaller size for the same sale price so used it up freaking adore it and uh repurchased and ready to go not really sure it counts as a repurchase but if i hadn't already had my backup i would have definitely considered repurchasing it again because it's a nice mixture of like exfoliating but also moisturizing which normally exfoliators that like toner type of things tend to dry you out so I really really like this one and I would recommend it to you. Next I have my Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Um, I liked it a lot. It reminded me a lot of the just the classic black one that's like my favorite. I've actually forgotten what that one's called, but it reminded me a lot of that, except for maybe a little bit weaker than that one. I'll link it up here so you can see my actual review of it, but uh, this was good. If I was going to repurchase, I would definitely get the black mask that I love rather than this one, because like I said, I just feel like maybe the fact that it's pink, you can't like see all the gunk coming out or whatever, but uh, I felt like it just wasn't quite as grippy as the black one. A couple of liquid liners. This is the Tarte Sex Kitten liquid liner that I tried out again. Good. I feel like it dried up really quick, but overall I liked it. I did a full wear test on that one if you want to check it out. And of course, uh, an empty L'Oreal Leaner Intense with the felt tip in Black Mika, my absolute HG favorite. Again, I've done a wear test on this one up here as well. I love this stuff and because it's my favorite, of course I repurchased it, but this time I repurchased it in Carbon Black. I cannot tell the difference between Black Mika and Carbon Black. If you know the difference, let me know, but I've never bothered to look into it. I just buy whatever grabs me when I'm in the store. Uh, here's a fun hair product. I've got some Elnut Satin. The Finest Hairspray by L'Oreal Paris. Um, this is the Extra Strong Hold bottle and I like it it does have a very good hold but it is smelly it is just like pure chemical fragrance so I don't really like the scent but I would repurchase this I just wish it wasn't so darn smelly oh, I used up another beauty blender that's heartbreaking and actually since I've used up this beauty blender like it's too old for me to like feel comfortable using it anymore I haven't repurchased or used a beauty blender and this was a couple of months back. What I've been using instead of beauty blenders or similar type blenders are either uh, my Tarte, whatever this type of brush is, or my like toothpaste handle brushes, toothbrush brushes, um, which when you think about it they're probably more environmentally friendly anyway because you can use them until they fall apart or break. And the beauty blenders, you like generally I would replace them every three months or so. And for the longest while, I was like stuck on them. I thought they were the most beautiful, most like perfect finish for my skin. But uh, I think I've kindly transitioned out of that phase, and I'm happy just sticking with makeup brushes because I've kind of found my favorites and I'm really comfortable using them. So I feel like I don't really need to replace them, and it's probably better for both my wallet and the environment 
But come Christmas, I don't know, maybe I will look at getting one of their Christmas packs. They're picking up some Real Technique ones. Haven't really thought about it too much yet, but something to think about. I finished up my Pretty Vulgar Faux Real Mascara, which again, I've done a wear test on. You can check it out up in the cards, but uh, definitely not a repurchase from me again. It was fine, but like not my favorites. And I finished up this tiny, cute little, it's like a, it looks like a little tube of mascara, but it's like really hard plastic. This is the Laura Mercier Clav Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara. It's a very dry formula, or at least this tiny sample tube is, and I actually like it quite a bit. The brush is kind of just like a really twisted Christmas tree type brush. And I think the formula is great. It's got a lot of um, separation without a ton of volume, which I really like. Uh, so yeah, I would consider purchasing the full size, but I haven't looked into how much it costs and I probably wouldn't think it's worth the price because it is Laura Mercier, kind of higher end. So really fun to try out the sample. I love the little packaging and everything. Probably not gonna repurchase because I'm not that in love with it. I don't know why. I'm sure this must have been in my last empties, but my boy brow from Glossier is all used up. And another one of my Project Pans, this little tube of Benefit Boing Hydrating Concealer is now completely empty, so that's pretty exciting. And another empties project um, product that's all used up is my Milk Flex Concealer, which is actually kind of sad. I feel like it's starting to smell a little bit funky, so I feel like I used it up in a good amount of time, but I actually really, really like this concealer, especially for like under the eyes. Uh, I feel like it's a really great color match for me. It's like pretty bang on, and it's a great formula. I like the tube, I like pretty much everything about it, so I feel like I could get away using a slightly higher level of concealer, but uh, I would maybe consider repurchasing it again in the future. I used up an Olaplex number three, which is like the take home hair treatment for like dyed hair. And I said I wasn't going to repurchase it. I did a video on it. I repurchased it. I don't know. I just feel like maybe it does work. And I did re dye my hair. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just use it. Even though the bottle goes really fast because there's not a ton of product in there, you can see I have a tiny little bit left. I feel like the purchase risk versus the purchase benefits probably way, way, way in favor of just taking the risk and trying it out. Um, and I was really more heavily into the curly girl method at the time, and lots of people say it really revives your curls after you dye your hair. But as you can see, I'm back on the hot tools. So even though I have repurchased it, I'm probably gonna it's probably gonna last me a very long time because I'm not gonna go through it as fast as I went through this tiny tube. And I've even um, now toyed around with the idea of growing out my gray patch. So I probably won't be dyeing my hair depending on how that turns out. So I did repurchase it, but now I'm not too sure if that was a good repurchase. And my last empty is the Secret Invisible Solid. This is one of the uh, like clinical strength deodorants, um, and I'm pretty sweaty under the armpits, so I liked using the clinical ones. I liked it a lot, but I felt like it did leave a lot of, like, white marks on my clothes and stuff, I guess because it is an invisible solid, even though it's not invisible. And I felt like my tube was a little bit weird, like, when I used it up, it kind of broke and, like, fell apart, so I couldn't get, like, every last ounce of it out. So I ended up repurchasing the Mitchum brand one, which I'm pretty sure someone on YouTube recommended it to me, and I've been enjoying that one. But this one does smell very, very good, but mm, not a repurchase. And then I'm decluttering three items. Maybe a little bit controversial here. Um, I'm decluttering this Appeal liquid eyeshadow that I got in a beauty box because it sucks a lot. I just really don't like it. And then I also got this in a beauty box, the Cover FX Glitter Drops. And I don't know, I wanted so badly to like, like it and get into it, but I just, 
I couldn't so I feel like I should declutter it if I want gold glitter I'm much more likely to use my Stila glitter things these things uh, a little bit harder to work with a little bit riskier I guess if you're going in with it and I never really did like use it as a highlighter and I'm too greasy to like use it all over my face or mix it into a foundation so I'm just going to let it go see if any of my other friends might be interested in it and last of all decluttering this beauty blender insta clean so a while ago I did a review of all the different methods that beauty blender makes to clean your beauty blender the liquid the solid and this insta clean thing which is like waterless so you can do it on the go and I hate this so much it is so gross I've tried foam and other instant cleansing products like the artiste one which I really like a lot but this just leaves everything super oily and greasy feeling it deposits this like just gross layer of I don't know what on top of either your sponge or your brushes so I really 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 hate this product a lot I would not recommend it at all I can't really remember if I was that pa passionate about disliking it in my review video although I don't think I recommended it but getting to know it a little bit better has just like increased my like dislike of it I just really do not like it at all so I'm just gonna check the rest of this out. I wouldn't wish it on even my enemies. So that is it for my empties this quarter. Not a ton of uh, empties. I feel like I've used a lot less foundation this quarter and a lot more eyeshadows. Uh, same amount of eyeliner. Maybe a little less liquid eyeliner and more like pencil eyeliners. And even hair wise. Um, I used to go through a lot more hair products, but now I'm buying cheap bulk hair products, which I really like a lot. I'm enjoying it. So that's kind of slowed me down as well. And I think I enjoy this like slower, less going through all these crazy products lifestyle. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, eventually I probably will have to declutter some stuff that's getting a little bit older, but definitely not this quarter maybe in the new year I can do like a full declutter video where I kind of refresh my collection so yeah you'll have to let me know what you thought about all my empties and what you thought about my project pan so far if you haven't already let me know what you think about it looking at all these products if you have any recommendations if you have any questions about anything let me know in the comments down below and aside from that we're good for this quarter we only have one more empties video this year at the end of December and uh yeah i will see you all in thursday's beauty video bye for now Mwah.